So what is science? Science is a method of gaining knowledge about the natural phenomenon and processes that occur in our world. Science is something that follows the scientific method. Pseudoscience is portrayed as being scientific, but it does not follow the scientific method, and therefore it is not a science. Let's talk about the differences between science and pseudoscience. Before something is a science, it is a proto-science, which is still working out its methodology. Mind control and zombies are pseudoscience because there is no evidence showing they exist. However, the zombie fungus does seem to use mind control on its victims, such as ants. It causes the ants to climb up to the top of a blade of grass where the fungus bursts out of the ant's body and its reproductive organs spread spores around. Cryonics is a pseudoscience which is mostly the wishful thinking that if we freeze ourselves we can be unfrozen and brought back from the dead. However, cryobiology such as cryosurgery where you purposefully decrease the temperature of a patient is scientifically useful and has been shown to increase the amount of time a patient has and the amount of time a doctor can work on them. Zoology, or the study of animals, looks at the animals that we can see. Cryptozoology is basically monster hunting and looking for mythical animals. UFOlogy and the idea that there are aliens and we have been abducted by them is a pseudoscience. However, astrobiology, which looks at the origin of life and the possibility of life on other planets, is a real science. So far, we have not found any extraterrestrial life. Most dietary supplements are pseudoscientific, such as the idea that if you take a lot of vitamin C, you can get rid of your cold. However, some, such as prenatal vitamins for moms-to-be, are extremely important in preventing birth defects and other nutritional deficiencies. A dietitian is a food scientist that has a degree in the study of nutrition. However, some people call themselves a nutritionist, even if they have no formal training. Homeopathic medicine uses extreme dilutions as its medicine. However, a homeopathic medicine called Zycam has been shown to reduce the duration of your cold because of the element zinc that prevents the virus from reproducing. But it shouldn't even be called homeopathic because the amount of zinc present is not in extremely diluted forms. Chiropractic medicine uses manipulation of the spine and while it's not a medical science, some studies have shown a reduction in lower back pain. Animal psychics are pseudoscience.
However, ethology, which is animal behavior, is a real science. And most animal psychics are just really good at reading the behavior of animals. Let's look at the differences in why some things are not considered pseudoscience and other seemingly very related things are considered pseudoscientific. Ghost stories are not pseudoscience. This is because we know it's a fictional book. They're read for entertainment, not for being informative. However, ghosts are pseudoscience. There has been no evidence showing they exist. Science fiction is not pseudoscience. Again, it is for entertainment purposes. The idea of aliens or mutants with superpowers is a pseudoscience. There is no evidence. Magic tricks are not pseudoscience. They are for entertainment. You know that a magic trick is just a trick. But if someone claims that the magic trick was a result of magical powers, then it is a pseudoscience. Things such as telekinesis, these would be relying on magical powers. Your belief system is not a pseudoscience because it is based off of a deity. Being a creationist is not a pseudoscience. However, creation science is pseudoscience, as well as intelligent design. This is because they misrepresent or do not use the scientific method. TV shows are not meant to be scientific. However, many of them have crossed over into the pseudoscience realm. They usually have disclaimers on their docudramas and their other reality TV shows, but the public believes that what is being shown is true, such as Lucy and the myth that we only use 10% of our brain, or Shark Week, recently depicting movies about these killer sharks, even though deaths from shark are very rare and they're usually not violent creatures. Remember, for something to be considered scientific, it is based on empirical evidence.